Hey y'all, what's up? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I got this super easy, super affordable, half up, half down crochet hairstyle. Um, this is also a braidless hairstyle for us girls that don't know how to braid. So if you wanna see how I got this hairstyle, then just keep on watching. First, you're gonna need some crochet Havana twist. I got mine from the beauty supply store for $5.99. Next, you're gonna need some eco style gel your favorite edge control. Then you're gonna need some hair ties, got to be glue, but this is completely optional. So first what you are going to do is split your hair into two sections. Um, don't judge my part y'all, okay? Parting your hair is already hard enough, but this time I was forced to do it on camera so you know I was struggling. Next you are going to split your second section into two parts. Now what I'm doing right now is just kind of gelling it down with some eco gel just because you want it to be kind of like a nice slick ponytail. Once you have your sections split, then all you're going to do is just French braid each section and then you are going to wrap it around into a bun and then secure it with a bobby pin. Now I know y'all see the back of my head, okay? Yes, it looks rough and yes, I do fix it later on, okay? But just know that once the hairstyle is done, you're not even going to be able to see the back of my head. So don't judge me, okay? <laughs> I see it. That is how it should look when you are finished with both sections. All right, now let's get into the nitty gritty. So what you are going to do is you are going to place the crochet needle through your hair. At the end of the needle, there is a latch. You are going to place the crochet hair onto the latch. Once the latch is closed, you are going to pull it through in a loop should form. Once you see the loop, all you have to do is pull a piece of the crochet hair through the loop, tie it, and then boom, you're done. It's that simple, that easy. Here is a close-up version. So as you can see, I am placing the hair onto the latch and then you can see me closing the latch and then all you have to do is just pull it through your hair like so and then a loop will form. Once you have the loop, all you have to do is pull a piece of the hair through it and then tie it. Now, this is where I made a mistake. When you are doing this hairstyle, I highly recommend pulling both pieces of hair through the loop, not just one. In the video, you see me pulling just one because I wanted to try it out and see if it held better, but it didn't in my personal opinion. I felt like pulling one piece of hair through, um, it felt like it was slipping in my head and I didn't like that. So if you are going to do this, make sure you pull both pieces of hair through. Um, again, that's just my personal a preference. You don't have to agree with it. Um, but if you want to try it, just let me know what works best for you. So once your entire head is done, then all you're going to do is just go through with your fingers and kind of pull the curls apart. Um, this is what you're going to do to help fluff it out a bit, you know, make it look a little more natural. I actually ended up using a pick later on just to help, um, but that is all I'm doing is just pulling the hair apart. Um, so yeah, super easy, super simple. Now, if you are wondering how long this hairstyle is going to last you, it is completely up to you. I go to the gym five days a week and I'm pretty rough with my hair, so I was only able to get, I would say four days. Um, I could have pushed for five if I really wanted to, so it really just depends on you and how you take care of your hair. All right, so this part is completely up to you. All I'm doing is just sleeking down my ponytail. Um, I'm just using some edge control, some eco style gel, and some got to be glue. Um, you don't have to use the products that I use. Those are just the products that I prefer. But yeah, it's super simple. All you're gonna do is just sleek it down into a ponytail. You can place the ponytail wherever you want. I like to have mine towards the back a little bit. I've seen girls place it more like higher up on their head. It really just depends on you. But yeah, that's all I'm doing is just working on my edges and things like that. Um, I will say, comment down below your favorite edge control, especially if you have like a 4C texture hair. Um, I like to use the Care Care edge control because, I don't know, I feel like it really helps grow my edges. But as far as holding my edges down, I, it's very uh, mediocre 
if you will I do think it is a good product um, but if you know like a stronger edge control that really can hold some 4c edges down please let me know okay because i've been on the hunt and they all seem the same to me but if you know one that's just like great please comment down below because i need to know So once you have your ponytail and your edges done, you are literally going to do the same thing you did to the back of your head. You are going to plait it, put it in French braids, and then you are going to secure it into a bun with bobby pins. Once you have your bun secured, you're literally going to do the same crochet method that you did earlier, but to your bun. Um, the only main difference is that instead of doing it around the bun, you are going to do it on the bun. Um, so yeah, same thing, it's super easy. One thing that I did when I was crocheting my bun was I would put a few pieces in and then I would kind of fluff it out and kind of see like where I needed to add more pieces. Um, I kind of like fluffed and then added more pieces, fluffed a little bit more and then added more pieces. That way I was adding them in the correct spots because it's very easy to just like add them and then not really pay attention to where they're going. Um, so just to make sure that I put it around the bun evenly, I kind of fluffed it out and then I would like add more pieces. This is pretty much the final look. The only thing that I did was fluff it out a bit more and then I just took some scissors and kind of trimmed it a bit. Now, I am not a beautician, okay? So I absolutely have no idea how to fucking cut hair, but I just knew that I wanted to frame my face a little bit. So that is what I tried to do and I think it turned out okay. Um, but yeah, I just kind of like went through and like trimmed pieces just so it looked a little more natural so that's all you see me doing um and again this hairstyle is super easy it literally cost me ten dollars to do because each pack of hair was literally 5.99 um so yeah So that is going to be all for this video. If you have any questions, just comment them down below and I will be happy to answer them. But if you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys soon.